Hello, this is Gilles, the radio prepper at radiopreppers.com. Again, uh, military radios today, uh, but don't worry, uh, it's just a phase. It's just what I'm doing right now. So, uh, but uh, we'll talk about other uh, radio prepping subjects, of course. Um, this video is about the uh, PRC351 and PRC352, uh, which use the same core radio which is the RT351. It's a 4 watt, 4 watt VHF radio from 30 to 76 megahertz. Here you see on top the tuning unit, it's called a SURF, which uses a little meter here to indicate a good match with the antenna. The reason being, uh, of course, when you take a short antenna like this, I think it's a meter, a meter 20 or a meter 50, I'm not sure. So, four feet maybe. You don't get a good match, of course, on, uh, on most of those frequencies. Um, no antenna can cover that much bandwidth. So, you have a tuning unit. And just by pressing the button here on top and rotating the dial, you can just adjust the tuner for maximum readout on the meter as simple as that you can use the uh, RT351 without the tuner of course I just mounted it uh, here and I leave it on because it's uh, it's screwed on so uh, it's not as easy uh, to take off as the uh, other modules here's how you put the antenna in it's a bayonet type resisting me a bit here but there we go and you screw um, you screw it on tight there is a ball joint here for a little bit of flexibility and you can angle it and there you go uh, the tuning unit is also very useful because um, well, it tunes the antenna, of course, uh, but that gives you a better performance. Uh, it's also used to, uh, uh, when you're using uh, more than one radio uh, in the same vicinity, but, you know, usually uh, that's not a problem because you don't have two radios in the same spot. Now, if I want to plug in the surf unit, because here, of course, it's not plugged in, and you can use the PRC351 uh, just with the whip. You don't have to have the uh, tuning unit uh, plugged in. But you're going to lose a lot of performance, um, especially if you're using the whip. Of course, if you use a tuned antenna, uh, a remote antenna, that's not a problem. But if you're using the whip, uh, the radio doesn't care too much, but um, you're going to lose a lot of power, radiated power. So uh, you really do want the, uh, the tuning unit for uh, performance. Uh, if I want to plug that in, I just take the antenna out of here and I will plug it in directly onto the tuner. Now I need to plug in a patch cable. between the radio and uh, trying not to make some shade here whoops between the radio and the tuner there we go so now the signal is fed from the RT351 into the surf and some magic happens in there and it comes out the antenna.
so to uh, use the radio, of course, we need a battery. <laughs> and it's, it's a big one. I'm even going to have to move the camera because otherwise you're not going to see it. Okay, that's better. Slightly. Maybe a little higher. There we go. And now the uh, battery is mounted on the radio. Now I need to plug in the handset. And we are going to uh, turn the radio on. Now they are... Um, the W position, which is whisper. I'm sure you see it here. W for whisper, L for local, and uh, noise on, which is no squelch. Using the tuner is very easy. You just press the button on top of the tuner to unlock the wheel. You press the PTT button. And you adjust uh, the meter for maximum deflection. And that's it, uh, you're ready to use the radio. Of course, I don't think anybody's going to be on 6 meter FM. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Ici, F4, WBY, F4, WBY, over. I almost forgot to uh, call in French because, of course, we're in France here. Um, all right, so now we've seen the uh, PRC351. We're going to transform it into a PRC352. So I took the RT351 out of the battery and here we have the amplifier. which mounts directly onto the battery. Oops, actually, you see better this way. And I clip it on the battery. And now I'm going to take the RT351 and plug it, it uh, plug it uh, on top of the uh, amplifier. There we go. And now we have a PRC352. You're not supposed to use the tuner with the, uh, the amplifier, so we're going to use my Chameleon antenna with the uh, Elecraft T1 tuner and see uh, how that works out. There is an on-off button on the amplifier, which is also a band selection button. It's a bit dark, but you have zero, which is off, T, which is for tuning, I guess, but I'm not quite sure how to use that. Then you have 30 to 40 megahertz, 40 to 55 megahertz, and 55 to 76 megahertz. This is the antenna output, and that's where, of course, I'm going to plug in the Elecraft T1 and the uh, Chameleon antenna. What I do need to do is take off the surf patch cable. Whoop. Okay, sorry about that. And uh, plug in 
the patch cable that will connect the RT351 to the amplifier. Before we do that, I'm going to show you the uh, power output on the tuner uh, straight out of the 351 without going through the amplifier. Then we'll plug in the amplifier. Okay, so the RT351 is plugged in directly into the tuner and the antenna. So let's uh, tune. And we have a match. The T1 has, uh, has a very rudimentary uh, watt meter. It's uh, 0, 5, 10 watts and that's it. Um, so anything more than 10 watts and the red LED will turn on around 5 watts, the uh, yellow one it will be on and uh, less than that the green one. Let's give it a try with just the RT351. We get uh, yellow and red, which means uh, between 5 and 10 watts, uh, which is very good because of course the uh, 351 is supposed to output 4 watts, so uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Now I'm going to take the uh, patch cable that comes out of the uh, RT351 and plug it in the amplifier on the same side as the handset. It's crazy how many boats uh, come by here every few minutes, seems like. This one's just leaving and uh, there's another one coming. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Now we need a new patch cable from the output of the amplifier. to the T1. I turned on the amplifier on the correct band, 40 to 55 megahertz. Let's see the uh, power output. And only the red LED turns on, which is uh, 10 or more watts. And it should be at least uh, 20. Uh, so it works, very good. CQ, CQ, CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ. Ici, F4, W, B, Y. F4, W, B, Y. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. I would just be floored if, if someone answered. There's just nobody around on 6 meter FM. Nobody. Uh, except my friend last time. Uh, uh, but of course I had to call him prior to, uh, to testing. Uh, but oh well, I'll try a couple more times and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, PRC351 versus the PRC352. So I left the uh, radio on with the squelch. I'm using it as a tripod. So in a previous video, I uh, talked about the uh, PRC351 as not being the best choice for prepping. And I still believe that, uh, mainly because of the weight and, uh, you know, the batteries are uh, not easy to recharge, it's 24 volts. Also the frequencies where it's only uh, the uh, 6 meter band and, well, 4 meter in some countries where it's actually a little better. But here in France we don't have 6 meter, I would have to go across the border just, uh, you know, 100 meters away here to, uh, to be able to use 4 meter. But I can actually do that, but, uh, you know, not everybody has 4 meters. So, anyway, now with the uh, amplifier, uh, I have a PRC352, uh, and that's 20 watts uh, instead of 4, which is quite a bit more. Uh, now it's a different ball game. Uh, is it a good choice? Still, uh, probably not compared to uh, modern handhelds. And, uh, you know, but 20 watts gives you a little more range. Actually, with a bit of height, uh, range can be extended uh, tremendously. Uh, I just uh, was exchanging some messages with uh, Andy from the uh, PRC320 group, and uh, he said that with a friend of his, uh, they both had uh, PRC351s, and they managed, uh, they managed, I think, 25 miles or something like that. Uh, in open terrain, of course. Uh, you add a 20 uh, watt amplifier to that and, uh, you know, it's going to work. Uh, you're going to get uh, a good mileage. 
Uh, now, of course, it's even heavier with the 20 watt amp. So, it's is it a portable solution? If it's for a one day uh, patrol kind of thing, you know, uh, having uh, sending someone out uh, to explore the uh, the countryside around you, and they're not going to uh, to walk uh, if they're on foot more than uh, you know 20 miles or so, uh, if they're in good shape. Uh, then yes, certainly uh, you can use the PRC for that and you have uh, even a little bit of, uh, I won't say privacy, but uh, less chances of someone uh, monitoring your frequency because again, there's nobody on 6 meter FM around here or you know, in, in many places. So that might be different where you live, but uh, you know, and we'll talk about uh, scanning frequencies uh, in another video. But. Um, it might be a good choice. I mean, those radios are fairly cheap. Uh, they are extremely, extremely rugged. Uh, there's nothing in existence that's going to uh, uh, be more rugged than that. I mean, it's, you know, it's just, it's just incredible. And that's why I like them mainly. Uh, uh, well, my favorite one, of course, is the PRC320, which is the HF set. Uh, and that uh, gives you a global range basically with 30 watts HF. Uh, the 351, 352, um, it's a very good modular system. It's very good for local communications. But boy, do I want to drag that around? <laughs> Not me, but you know, uh, well, if it was for a day again, again, like I said, uh, I would do it. And you know, um, and that's what you have to consider. That would be the bottom line. Uh, do you need a little more privacy, discretion? Uh, you know, you can get that with a uh, handheld uh, which has encryption, you know, DMR, uh, like the MD680, but, uh, um, and that's smaller, but you won't get, uh, I don't know, uh, if you'll get the range of uh, 20 watts on 6 meter FM, uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, it's certainly, it works really well. Um, and I should stop talking now because again it's going to be too long there's nothing else I can say about it guys uh, it's a very simple radio it's a 20 watt 6 meter and 4 meters and that's it uh, and it works really well so that will be it for today have a good one